thirty. You can start. Can we start? I mean, are we ready? Sure. Nora's not coming. I don't know if Trish is Trish and Azita are coming or not. Well, Azita had some surgery on her mouth. Okay. She so said that if be here. Um, Turn that on. Turn that off. Yeah, um, we could probably wait a minute and see Trish. She said if she's feeling better, she will definitely. I said even if you don't come to the reception, try to come for the uh, meeting. meeting. Yeah. yeah. She says she will no. try her very best. She has something. It's not. Yeah. Yeah. She says she will wear a mask or something. Yeah, but still. Hey, I'm a woman. I wouldn't want to be seen. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to call the uh, Heritage and Arts November 12th special meeting to order. So we'll do roll call. Chair Gupta? Here. Vice Chair Edamad? Here. Commissioner Fong? Here. Commissioner Feibush? And absent are Commissioner Mujica. Commissioner Farron and Commissioner Noguez. Okay, oral communications. Seeing none. Okay. Already. Uh, I'm gonna give my chair report. Uh, we're still waiting to hear from Bruce Monroe. Um, and hopefully we'll have some news from him and a proposal <clears throat> um, before the end of this year, maybe even next month. But I know that we don't have any more meetings scheduled, but uh, nonetheless, there's plenty of time for him and I will follow up with him. Um Okay, uh, I'm meeting with um, Oshala, um, Oshala Marcus on Friday uh, to discuss the lower gallery space for underrepresented communities and their art. Um, Oshala is with the Marin Arts, Marin City Arts Center, and uh, she's excited to 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 check it out, and uh, we'll probably come over to the town hall and see the space and um, hopefully we'll get that moving so we can begin uh, getting some artists and their work in to the lower galleries in uh, 2025. And I think that's pretty much it for the chair report. Oh, Azita, welcome. Um, minutes are approved. You'll need to do a, a vote on the minutes okay. to pass them. Has everybody seen the minutes? They're here. The 24th, 2024, and October 22nd, 2024. I second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Let's get to action item number one. The uh, calendar for the uh, Town Hall Gallery Artists for 2025 for the Upstairs Gallery. Thank you for printing the updated calendar out. You can see that uh, we have all the spaces filled uh, Gordon Studer remains tent tentative, but that's 
September 1st through October 31st. So there's still time for him. Um, the first, as we know, is Ginny Doyle and uh, Jal, uh, Commissioner Edmod will be helping uh, with that show. Then the next one in, from March through April is Cecily Starin and Commissioner Mika Beavers will be working with Cecily on that. Um, I believe she is confirmed. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Uh, and then in the spring, we have May through June, Yue Ying Zhang and Commissioner Fong will be working with him. Commissioner Fong, do we know whether he has confirmed? For the approval. He, we didn't. Okay. Yeah. Great. And then uh, in the summer, we have from July through August, Kathy Gray and uh, Commissioner Edamad. Yes. We'll be working with her and she has expressed. She is. She has expressed. Confirmation. Oh, yes. We have confirmed everything on with her and the other one that Virginia Doyle. I have confirmation of both of them. And um, Kathy Gray needs the size of the walls of upstairs gallery, our community gallery. So if you don't mind, if you could uh, uh, email it to her, Kathy Gray. Chair? Do we? Chair. Yes. May I just suggest once that? Artist is confirmed and we've taken a vote. Maybe there's a packet that could just be sent out or have the liaison give it to the artist and then set up the dates and then we could work with Marissa. Then that'll have the measurements, all the little duties. <laughs> the bat batter information. Yeah. Either either by email or by actual paper and 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 maybe by uh, email would be better yeah marissa maybe you could also copy the commissioner who is working with that artist that's on the list that'd be great uh the dates of um the arc and dave gotts have you made the dates have you put them in our list the date that we they need we need to get in touch with them. I think that's in the the manual, the guide. Dave Gotts's information is all there. Yeah, it's well, set. there has to be a date. When am I supposed to send it to the artist? Um, I don't have the guide in front of me, but I believe it's there, at least there, six weeks there's a, for art. That's right. Yeah. So we, it is needed to be put down. Oh, in this. Oh, it could be added to the chart. To added yeah, to the chart. So okay, I can, I can, I can work with you mm -hmm. uh, yeah. to fill out the actual calendar chart for the hang dates and so forth. Yeah, that would be great. The hang date is already here. Hang date and pick up is already here. I need... can include the, the Dave Gotts and the ARC timeline in the packet that I send with the gallery specs and the yeah. agreement and everything that I copy you on. And I'll I'll include their specific timeline, like what the date will be for Kathy Gray will be different than the date for Ginny Doyle. And I'll include that in my email um, and I'll copy you on it. Oh, that would be good because I like to write it down that it has been done. Then that way we know that. And we can add the ARC dates and the Dave Gotts banner dates to this spreadsheet so that we have it each month. Yeah, that would be really helpful. Thanks. Um, I believe Gordon Studer is back from uh, his teaching commitment abroad, and I will be contacting him in... in, in so in you will be in charge of student okay. yeah and i'll, I'll uh, hopefully confirm with him uh that uh september through october is good and then finally in uh november through december of 2025 we have deborah maddox 
and uh, Commissioner Fong will be working with Deborah. And yeah, Chair, I I would love to have someone to work with. You know, I think it's a good way to experience. Oh, yay! Got it. <laughs> and okay. if anyone want to work with me on Mr. Jones, uh, I'm always anytime. there. I, I anytime. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you can... and then we'll. Great. Thank you. Yeah, I know. I work with Azita. It's really great. Thank you. I think it's a nice way to work together. Good idea. Okay. Any other? Uh, so I think, uh, okay. you know, no, knowing that Gordon Studer is still a tentative artist for September through October, um, a move that we approve this list of artists for the upstairs gallery for 2025. Uh, contingent, of course, also on Gordon's uh, confirmation. By, by looking at all the website, I really liked his work. His work is really exceptional. Okay. So <laughs> we, we have a second from Commissioner Fong. If we can take a vote. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Nope. Okay. Action item, oh, before we move on, is there any comment from the public? Seeing none. Okay. Okay. Uh, action item, Two, dedicating the lower gallery to underrepresented artists in 2025. Consider approval of lower gallery to be used to exhibit underrepresented artists during the currently available months of March through April, May through June, July through August, September through October. Sorry, I have a question. Mm -hmm. You're not, we don't have the dates for Cecily Strain and Deborah Maddox. Or hang because to to let them know and for us to know. Um, you have to confirm. Oh, for that for the hang date and the removal date. Yeah, yeah. I guess last time we didn't take a formal action of accepting all these artists, so um, the dates were not set up at least not for Mr. Zhang because I we discussed because it. The hanging and the removal, it's when we would tell them because yeah. of the- Maybe we could work with, Marissa just said that she would come up with all the dates. So we'll get it. You have to work with them, yeah. talk with them on the phone. Yeah. Also, but it has to- Say work. this is your setup, the day that you're going to have your uh, reception. I the like The week to... before, the week before of that reception, one day they have, the artist has to bring down her, their work, say on, on a Wednesday, and then the following day is a Thursday, and the new artist can. Uh, yeah. Can I? Can I think I, Marissa could come up with the dates and I will share. 27th of February. So she has to put the first of but you, ha you have to talk to the artists and make sure those but, days are good. But it them. cannot be oh uh, it has to be hung there. I mean what do you mean? Yeah, the week before can be hung. And then the following Tuesday will be the reception. I wonder if we'll just have Marissa have a big calendar and just get all these dates and then I, we'll yeah, we'll think... share it among ourselves. Can I jump in on the dates real quick? Sure. Um, so the only real action that the HNA needs to take formally is to approve the artist in the slot. We need an approval for the reception date because you all should agree on the reception date. And in the last year or so, you all have kind of transitioned into the second Tuesday, and that seems to work really well. So you're approving the reception date. We'll add in those dates into the calendar, second Tuesday. The hang and remove dates are sort of flexible. The commission doesn't need to approve those um, to, I think, Chair uh, Commissioner Etemad's point. It, it has to be a little flexible. Um, you know, sometimes the first of the month falls on a Saturday. <laughs> so we, we have to be a little bit flexible. So the commission doesn't actually vote on the hang remove dates. Yeah. Thank you. 
So we just have to know them. But I, I, I get, I get your you. point, I, I will, Commissioner. Because for, for us to be there, we need the dates, yes. Yeah, I mean, I see that Ginny Doyle's uh, remove date is February 27th. But yes. Uh, removal date is 27th, but... Um, what day is 27 in the week? So Cecily can, will then have uh, roughly a week. 27 is a Thursday. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So assuming that, you know, at some point in the following week, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the... I think it should be 4th or 5th of... Sure. And you can work, you can, you can, you can discuss that with her. And then the idea is the following, the Tuesday after that, Tuesday after the second Tuesday of the month would be the, the date for her reception. Nice well, yes. Okay. And before you move on, sorry if I, I missed this. Um, did, did the commission just approve Ginny Doyle's reception date of February 4th? We're looking for an approval for approval oh. on that date as well. For reception date, yes. that's the second. Sec, is that? I don't think that's the second Tuesday. Is that the first Tuesday? Is that okay? Tuesday. That's the first Tuesday. With who? Yeah. For Ginny Doyle. Yes, she has. Yes, she, she wants it. Is a Saturday. The February fourth, twenty twenty five, is a Tuesday, but it's the first Tuesday. But I, I suspect that might be when she wanted it. Yes, yeah, it was is... her choice. Yeah. It was her choice. She did not want any receptions in the month of January. So that's and that's fine. Um, if it's the artist fine wants with a... us, it... yes, it is the first uh, Tuesday of. Uh... Okay. I would say the the default date would be the first Tuesday. Um, unless the artist has another preference that the it's at the will of the commission if you'd like to accommodate something different and you're certainly able to do that on this one. My my I'm I'm fine with either the first or the second. My only concern for the first Tuesday is that it's not enough time to hang works when the previous artist has taken down their artworks. Um it's it's a you know, so but 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 that's fine. Yeah, the previous artist has got to bring down. It is through Monday through Thursday. Okay. The whole of the week. So once we talk to the artist to bring down, they can bring it down the beginning of the week. Sure. And the new artist can hang at the end of that on a Thursday or a Wednesday. It is between you and the artist. You can. But for that first show, um, removal is 27th, and so that'll be okay. two days, 28th. So Ginny definitely could put it up on March 1st, right? I mean, February 1st. Excuse me. I got it mixed up on the months. So is there time for her to put it up? Can I make a suggestion? We'll fill in the dates. And we will distribute an updated calendar. Is that? I love it. As long as we're getting the okay with the commission on the expenditure for the banner, including the artist in the slot and the reception date. To be to yeah. calendared. Correct. Right. We'll send a updated um, calendar out. Right. And, and that vote we just had is for expenditures and dates uh, for these one, two, three, four, five, six artists. I have a question. Yeah. Yes. Maybe I was reading the chart wrong, but it says exhibit date, January 1st through February 28th, Ginny Doyle. Therefore, wouldn't she be the artist starting January 1st? Mm -hmm. So this- You have plenty of time. No. There's plenty of time. Well, that's what the chart says. Is she starting later? Yes. Oh, she's starting. It is right after the holidays. She doesn't want to okay. hurry through. Yeah. So she will start. Like, that's what she sure. said. A week she later. She will start putting them. Yeah. Hang, hanging. Yeah. Yes. Okay. But, it, yes. but there's no conflict because it is for January. Yeah. Okay. And the earliest she could hang is January 6th because of our holiday that's schedule. Right. But I'll, I'll include that in my email packet to you and Ginny. Yes. She knows that too. All right.
Uh, action item number two, dedicating the lower gallery to underrepresented artists in 2025. Consider approval of the lower gallery to be used to exhibit underrepresented artists during the currently available months of March through April, May through June, July through August, September through October. Um, <clears throat> the ad hoc committee uh, has begun its outreach. And as I mentioned mm -hmm. in the chair report, um, the first group is from Marin City and the Marin City Arts Center. And uh, I'm hoping that <clears throat> from um, my meeting on Friday, this coming Friday with uh, Oshala Marcus, uh, we will have um, a show in place for the lower gallery uh, for March uh, through April. And that gives us plenty of time to organize that. And uh, we will be meeting before then again in the in the new year. So I have a question, if I may. Mm -hmm. Now, the art that, art that is going to come down, it has to be really good art. So how do you know that the art is appropriate? Um, because nobody is well we are we we will we will we will they will give us a proposal of the artists and the works that they choose to show i mean and there's you know okay. a limited amount of space That's here what i wanted to hear. And, and i and i and and the ad hoc when we met we also discussed the fact that this is a public space that there are you know it's open to the public and and children and you know so whatever is shown will be <clears throat> appropriate for all. Um, that's not to say that there may be art of a political or social nature. I, I don't think that's a problem. I think the at the end of the day, um, it's long as it's appropriate for younger kids. And uh, well, we have to know, and then we have to vote on them, I think, yeah. because I mean, it I has to be appropriate. Um, we would get the proposal, but by the same token, yes. we want to respect their, you know, what they want to present. And I think uh, Chair has said it, you know, nothing is going to be offensive or, you know, or risk. Well, it's I don't think we're going to have nudes or four letter words or uncompromising positions and things like that. Nowadays, you see that a lot. You see. But I think it'll come to the board, come to the commission and um, and the ad hoc certainly reserves the right. Absolutely. It would be good Absolutely. if the ad hoc, or you can bring it to, the, to everyone. To the commission, yeah. To the commission with samples of sure. what you're going to put in the show. I think that's a great idea. And I think we have a lot of time to uh, get those uh, that that process in place before the uh, March show. So hopefully, um, <laughs> if uh, Ms. Marcus agrees that she will have something for us at least by you know the end of January, I'm sure. Regarding yeah. the action, I would like to sort of suggest that instead of just to be used, would be to have the priority because at some point, like this exhibit, they might need the lower you know, to show. So maybe there's some flexibility. Mm -hmm. And also maybe, you know, the groups cannot do it at that date in 2025. So maybe just give them priority in our decisions. Okay. Um, so I move to approve that the lower galleries take priority for uh, exhibiting underrepresented artists in Marin County and the Bay Area for the available months of March through April, May through June, July through August, and September through October. I second it. Oh, go ahead. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Thank you. Moving on to action item number three, Artist Laureate applications. We want to uh, appoint a special committee of two commissioners, previous Artist Laureate, one art professional who is not a candidate for the position, 
and the Tiburon mayor or her appointee to review applications and interview candidates. I'll open this up to commissioners for input on do we have any elections? Do we have it would any be in the selection? I would like to be in the selection. Okay. Committee. Jale. Possibly you have to be there and Richard Rosen. That yeah, is I think that's a good choice. Yeah. Okay. I will be the other commissioner. But we, we have to look extra? at, we have to read everything, what they're suggesting and so on. Um, ourselves at this read. point, we only have one, three. Two. We have three. 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 Oh, good. Yeah. Can nice. you can you tell us the names of the the three? Um, yes, we have Jim Wood, uh, Marta Wendlinger, who was the exhibitor last year, last month here in the gallery, and um, uh, Chris, Krista. Krista, um, I'm blanking on a jolly. What's her last name? <laughs> <laughs> I can never remember her last name. Chris, um, Krista with a K? Krista, C H R I S T A. It's kind of a horrid name. Do you have it on an email? Is that for articulary? <laughs> Check your email. Oh, what's that? It's for the um, articulary. Mm -hmm. yet. Jim Wood is after. Uh, her last name is Greenawalt. G R E E N A W A L T. Is Jim Wood of the Marine Magazine? He's good. Krista Greenwald. Um, uh, I suppose. Uh, we need to then uh, uh, schedule a meeting. Is that correct with Richard Rosen and the and the mayor to review these three artists? That's correct. I think that comes later. The first meeting should be us to see their, we know what to, they're to... doing and we choose our okay so choice it's... and then it goes into town council it goes to the town council okay then they will interview actually in the mm -hmm. interview they will interview all of them one by one no. Um, in our last one, in choosing um, Richard Rosen, we had a meeting um, of the uh, selected commissioners with the mayor. That at that time was Jim Frazier, and with the with you, you were the previous artist laureate. And we had a series of questions, and we interview each of the applicants. Together. And at the end of that, but previous to the meeting you review their submission and their with, portfolio with the commissioners um well i don't know at that time i'm asking was it was it a was the review of the it was actually open to public it was on it the desk at the public. front desk uh -huh. so they submit you know like a notebook or portfolio and everyone could look at it and i guess we could give comments then the chair um the mayor, and I think Patty was there, so Marissa was there to take notes. And um, you had your series of questions. You asked the, each of the candidate to come in at the end. By one. You meet and you hash it out, and then you select the name. Then you present it to the to town the council. To, to, the, to the town council. That you have selected, well, to the commissioner, and, and then I mean, to the commission and the uh, town council. And does that all happen in? I mean, the the we uh, did it. Vetting is all in one day, like we did the interview oh. and the selection with the mayor because the mayor is usually very busy. So right. we wanted Zita was there. Zita was the other person, and so we just took the vote then, so and, that the mayor doesn't have to come back right. for another meeting. And, and and the three were were scheduled. Yeah, just one staggered. I think meeting. we did it for one hour, just so that we oh, have some time in yeah. between. Called in. Okay. We... So uh, then I suppose we'll have to coordinate with you uh, as to when we might be able to have that. Yeah, it's part of the mayor. <laughs> with the mayor. Probably in January. And with, and with Richard, and with Richard Rosen, of course. Staff will coordinate with all the parties. Great. And 
Mm-hmm. Find, Give find, some a, dates find a couple of calendar dates. And with mayor. And, and then we would then put that out to the, uh, would, would you guys be able to put that out to the three artists then for, okay. Yeah, Scheduling. maybe maybe pick two dates. I think we did it on one of the Tuesdays or something and just one hour each. Mm-hmm. But if you, you might want more than one hour. I don't know their I portfolio. That's probably, that's probably enough. I'll circulate their applications to the committee members. So it's you two, the mayor, and Richard Rosen. Um, Great. So you'll see that, and then we'll work on dates and whatnot for the artists. Thank you. Very helpful. Probably Thank you. it will happen in January. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Well, uh, I move to appoint uh, Vice Chair Edamad and myself as the uh, committee to uh, vet the artist laureate applications and to select and to and and to make the selection along with the previous artist laureate and the mayor. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay, thank you. Do we need the art professional too? Or is that not require required? It's not required, but okay. if you all have somebody. But well, we figured artist, the previous. I'll consider uh, myself. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> I'm waiting for you. Yeah. We're both uh, art professionals. Yeah. yeah. We're both <laughs> professionals. <laughs> Listed here. I just thought I would call that Thank out. You. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's uh, move on to discussion items. Um, discussion item number one was brought to my attention by Commissioner Noguez, who is unfortunately not in attendance at this meeting today. Um, but you can see it's about the commission's collaborations with uh, various entities here in town, including Cine Lounge, the Chamber of Commerce, and the library. And uh, Commissioner Noguez was uh, excited about the prospect of the uh, lower gallery being uh, prioritized for underrepresented artists, and she was inspired and came to me and asked, uh, what about other types of events that we might be able to hold in collaboration with um, entities and organizations here in town? Um, <clears throat> for Cine Lounge. I, I actually went to him and talked with him. Uh -huh. He said that he was very much interested, but you have to send the link to me so I can sure. watch it. And then I will give my opinion. Oh, of the film. And then you, mean, for, you mean a link of the of whatever film of, we choose to show? Video that we did. Oh, the video. Of yes. The film that we did. That's for the Thomas Jackson. Yes. To be yes. shown to be shown at screenings that they have. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And then with, um, I talked with, what was the second one? Chamber of Commerce. Chamber of Commerce. I did talk with her. And they really liked it. Again, they want to have a link to see because uh, they have a depot. The depot has a nice, um, huge screen that it keeps going. I thought, why not put that on their screen? And then it's always keeps going. Mm -hmm. So that I'll, doesn't I'll, matter. I'll make sure about the permissions from the filmmaker Please, David Witten. Witten's what's her last name? Wittensand? Yeah. <laughs> and um we can get that we can get going, that process yeah. going. But uh you know to get back to this idea of collaborations, this is also for um events. And uh I know that uh uh, Milos, the director of programs at the library, and I had a discussion earlier this year, and he was excited about the possibility of working with the library, which has a film archive to show, you know, uh, uh, themed 
series at the Cine Lounge, and that could be interesting. It could be something like artists' films. It could be something more, you know, broader, something about, I don't know, the French avant-garde or, you know, becomes... Pedro Almodovar's movies yeah. or whatever. <laughs> but it would be good to show what we have done and what and that, yeah, doing. And that, that, absolutely. That is absolutely. the main thing, yeah. And then uh, with the Chamber of Commerce, Nora's idea was uh, to have a kind of an arts fair. And if you recall, we had a conversation with Catherine Rozak a while back where she was saying that the Sausalito Arts Fair is no longer happening. Wouldn't it be nice to have something similar or maybe scaled down here in town at Shoreline Park? And for that, I believe we need some kind of... Um, uh, permissions from the HOA at Point Tiburon, I think. Absolutely. Yeah. So we can, um, you know, we can get to that down the line, but I think that's a good idea. And if anybody has any thoughts, I mean, clearly Nora is with the chamber. Um, so she would be a good person to maybe find ask out. to find out from the HOA yeah. about that. And also from the no. town, I think the town has a relationship with the HOA as to how many events we could have there. And I know they already have the classic car and some other things. That's it's very that. difficult it, it should to talk be, to. It yeah. should be together with the classic cars because we used to have, and unfortunately, it wasn't successful. Mm. You remember? Yeah, the yeah. arts fair. It didn't, it didn't go well and they stopped it. That was art festival. It really needs a big group of people to. It was an art festival on Ark Road that is smaller and easier to, and it it didn't work. I didn't. Oh man. Was was that? Uh, how many years ago was that? Oh, many. Six, seven, eight years ago stopped. Mm -hmm. But well, it went I think out for a few yeah. years. They but tried. I think that was because the um. Merchants, they don't like a close. They didn't off. like it. And then the arts festival, as I remember, um, there were a lot of jewelry and all that, and so it sort of, in fact, cut into some of the businesses yeah. at that because time. I mean, now is spicery and something else, but at that time there were a lot of jewelry shops. Yeah. But anyway, the, things didn't work out, and it was a lot of work. It is a lot of work. Very, it was a big a group. Idea. And Zelensky, Zelensky did a lot. Zelensky because did a lot. It was, it was her art role. Yes, but he, she wasn't so happy. She had allowed it. all the um, um, owners of the businesses there to put it table out in their in the front yes, of but their... at the end they weren't happy and so no wasn't... because the artists were not happy either because right. they weren't this safe. is this is something <laughs> for added. shoreline park this is the idea is to have this along the shoreline shoreline park is yeah we are yeah. easy to arrive they won't, add, they yeah. won't let you put the booths there we actually had one with the sculptures you know huge and i think why not we do as pop as happy <laughs> that we have asked over and over again afterwards. You know, we did the opening that like was it. relatively successful. Is this on the agenda for discussion? An open air event that we would add this event. You know, we're just discussing collab possible collaborations with Cine Lounge, Chamber of Commerce at Shoreline Park, Arts Fair, or similar event, Library Poetry Slam. Because maybe we need an ad hoc to tee up some of the events. I will add hoc to talk to yeah. library because he's very well. I want. I just want to hear what Azita has. I was to say. saying, you know, one of the events that is re quite successful is the uh, antique car show. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think you. It's nice to combine something with them, not necessarily with boots, but some artists could show their work or could be like an, uh, uh, like a. Plan air, something of that. The plan air was successful when we did it. Oh, it was very successful. Plan air was they were painting outside. So are, that, paint, that that paint. might be a really good idea. And then we would pick the one that was, you know, would yeah, it win. was five hundred dollars. 
uh, and for the winner. Yeah, and there was, I think, a while back, there was even a pop up where an artist would, you know, do a little workshop or something. But, but I think it's a good idea with the classic car because that that does draw a lot of people if they're willing to partner with us for that. Is there a That's, way that we could survey the public to like glean interest similar to what we did with like the parks and rec plans? Mm -hmm. Because I have to say, like, I think the population in Tiburon has changed a lot in the last six or seven years, um, that there might be a real interest in some of these art fairs. I'm thinking specifically with like the wine festival mm -hmm. and like tacking onto that and maybe setting up some booths there. Mm -hmm. Um, but it would be interesting to see what people would be interested in if we could do that. I think, I think yeah, we it, did have in a terms survey. of with the wine festival would be really combine it. Good. It's a good idea. Yeah, in terms of than surveying the public, box. I think it'll be important to have a very clear question of what you're asking mm -hmm. um, for the master plan. It was pretty straightforward. What do you want to see? What kinds of things do you want? Um, for this, I think it will be important to have a sort of a clear kind of what feedback are you actually looking for, in which case an ad hoc might be really helpful in this circumstance to have somebody to kind of evaluate and come through what we get back. Um, you know, the word survey comes up a bit. Um, these would not be, what's the word that I'm, um, um, it's not like an official survey. It's, you know, us just sort of gathering feedback from the community. Right. Mm -hmm. um, so in that case, an ad hoc might be helpful um, to sort of guide where <coughs> feedback takes you. But it, short answer to question, yes. Okay. We, like if it's sir, a three yeah. question mm -hmm. thing they could optionally click on from like the talk newsletter mm -hmm. just to see how many responses we get at a statistically significant I have a market research background, so <laughs> the last <laughs> time, to please to help the, the, the last program. time we did that, it took several months to yeah. vet the survey. We had a very low response rate. It was not statistically significant. However, it's it's good to get community feedback, and maybe it wasn't so good online, but maybe at one of our events we could have a standard kind of outreach that we get, gather input. Um, the classic, a lot of these shows they have. Um, they're very, um, they've taken them over, like basically the classic car show happens when the DEIB outreach, big um, celebration happened on, I think it's now Juneteenth. Yes. I was lucky enough to attend. It was really fun. So we would have to fit within their parameters. They've kind of got a secret for success, like same with the wine show. And um, we did do a little bit of research with the Sausalito organizers several years ago um Sausalito Art Festival there's an organizer for that he gave us a bid we analyzed it we turned it down it was not economically viable for us but I think we also need to have be clear on what our goals are are we fundraising are we just doing outreach are we sharing you know more awareness of our events so I'm not sure what you know which context we would evaluate it against I think um Commissioner Farron really made some good points. What What's the purpose? Are we trying to do more activities? We don't have volunteers. We don't have any help. And we're putting a lot of pressure on the staff to help us with all this paperwork. But I think um, connection with the community is important. So whatever we could kind of work together. I do worry about the center lounge because it does cost money, I think, for the and as far as a poetry slam at the library, I know they have one for the high school with the Tam High School, and they have it. So maybe that's maybe we could look at something else. Okay, well, those are all good ideas. I mean, maybe uh, at the beginning of next year in our January meeting, when we're all present, we can uh, revisit this and uh, you know discuss the possibility of an ad hoc for one or all of these types of events, collaboration ad hoc or something like that. Yeah. Okay. Thank you all. Uh, finally, we have the H&A webpage ad hoc update. 
Uh, Listen, I have decided to it let went Charlie. very well. I think it went very yeah. well. Yeah. Liz, do you want to? Liz would like to summarize. Oh, sure. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, at the ad hoc meeting, we reviewed just some top line um, suggestions to start. Um, one thing that's top of mind is uh, just shortening the content because a lot of the content between the mission and the duties and purpose on our landing page was dupl duplicative. And then um, I think going forward, we're going to see how we can insert more visual um, images and showcase more of our events on the page. And to that end, I still have yet to create a Dropbox and share that link with. Uh... I think I was supposed to make it. Oh, were you? Okay, I don't. I don't remember. But yes, in any was... case, we'll we'll get that going. Yeah. You know, hopefully by the end of this year. So maybe maybe we could aim for a brand new, you know, launch of that page on in January or something. Is that too soon? I don't know. We can definitely have a um, something some, for you to look at in January. Definitely. Some of those some of those changes that we discussed, we could maybe look at some of the, uh, you know, mock ups of what that might look like. Definitely for your January meeting. Mm -hmm. Great. That would be great. Yeah. I have a question um, about the web page. I know in the um, the last time around, we were looking for things that where we could like do the flip page on on a art you know, or a photograph or something. Mm -hmm. Will that be available? Is that technology available to be added to our section? Um, I think I know what you're referring to, Commissioner. Um, yeah, I don't know what the like name is. Like a flip is. book? Find yeah, it, a I flip think. book. And it was like, I think Octavo many years did it. You know, like when you have a rare book, you could actually see it flipping, but not touching. That's not something that we have um we can embed in our in oh. in their site it's not it's not um a no i'm sh i don't know what it costs yeah uh, i wonder if we but... could like have a link to a... yeah if you wanted to have some sort of external link to some kind of something fancy... a little more it's only our commission i understand that so yeah it's just it's not something that is automatically included in our site it would be something that is extra but maybe it's something the ad hoc could look at it. Thanks. Okay. Thank you. I know. I, I know what you're referring to. <laughs> I know. I don't know that. Yeah, there's <laughs> cat art catalogs that are like yeah. that also that you could access. Uh, well, that's it. Uh, oh, you haven't chair updated the uh, artist laureate wall yet. Well, oh, that I, is part that's of right. number that's two. That's December number two. I'm sorry, I skipped that one. Yes, I still need to make an appointment with uh, our liaison to start working on uh, um, doing all the all the, the little things. Uh, they have to be ordered. A uh, little names and such we really need to get together you have to give us a time what's that and then one we can painting get together. that was not framed it is the whole no the paintings are getting all ready to go okay but the wall is not ready yet we need a lot of uh, um we already have these plaques. The plaques are not done completely. They need to be done. You mean the name? Are those the name the plaques? Name, the names, they have the to dates. be hung. And we need a, a title for the wall, just a small plaque mm. saying what the small is all about. And um, hopefully everybody has well, read the, the mission. The mission can be uh, printed in little cards so that we can keep it. For the title, the wall. for the title, Charlie, do you have any thoughts about what you want to call the wall? Artist laureates. Of Artist Tiburon. laureates. Tiburon Artist laureates. Yeah. Something like that, but it has to be. A and, really the, nice and the present story. artist laureate has something there too. Is that correct, or is it just all past artist laureates? Uh, 
Well, so so far we are trying to put the past ones, but as they finish their uh, venue, so then we can so we can past all to our facility. Yeah, they are previous. Do past. we need to clear with the town? Are they giving it to the town? These paintings are they gifts to the town? Yeah, I have talked to Greg. Uh, Channings and he has said, okay, it's all right. So each of the paintings should have a little plaque giving the name and uh, the date of their uh, commitment to be an artist laureate. It sounds like the ad hoc maybe needs to have a meeting with staff yes. to talk about some of the final I logistics. Asked for an ad hoc. I think um, the two yeah. of us. You are, yes. Yeah. So we have to make an appointment with uh, Marissa and then get together and talk about all of them. And I'll, I'll just make add, decision. I'll just add, Marissa, that we, we should probably also talk to Greg or whomever about the, there has to be some kind of an agreement between the artists and the town vis-a-vis -vis the donation of the artwork and how it's being used upstairs and that should probably be memorialized in some you know brief simple document so that everyone's signed on so that it's all about board is it donation or is it a loan no it's a donation it's a donation it is a permanent is a permanent it's a permanent, it's a permanent, a permanent um, gift to the town yeah. so we keep adding but that's probably it. paperwork that require you know is required yeah, I believe our town clerk will handle that. So <laughs> if you like, I can call Marissa's, find a date and email yeah, it to you yeah, too. Yeah, we'll just yeah I out. think the early mornings is yeah, good morning. for you, mm -hmm. especially 9 o'clock so sure. to 10.30 or something. Yeah. My schedule is very flexible and I'm here by 7.30. So whatever works, that way I get off at 5. Whatever works for you guys works for me. Great. Any day of the week? Any day except Fridays. Except Friday. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> yes, of course. Of course, we keep that in mind. Right. Okay. Well, anything else about the artist story? Wall? Any other? Anything um, else you want to mention about the artist story at Wall? No, I think uh, they're all very excited, especially Mary Musala. Mm -hmm. She really thinks that. We have worked so long and so hard for our uh, duties as artist laureates, so it is good to be remembered in Town Hall, Tiburon Town Hall. Great. Okay, well, um, calendar dates. You can see that the November 26th meeting has been canceled for H&A. And the Tuesday, December 24th has also been canceled. So our next meeting will be um, in January. January 28th. January 28th. It leaves us plenty of time to get stuff done. Yeah. Um, Tuesday, uh, Sunday, November 17th, which is coming up, Hiroya Sukamoto concert at Old St. Hilary's Landmark. And um, Sunday, December 8th, Musée concert also at Old St. Hilary's Landmark. Those are the two calendar dates. And with that, meeting is adjourned. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 524 p.m. <laughs>